good day to all of you i am s sivaram former senior executive with 47 years of experience from sashasai paper and boards limited erod tamil nadu i am very glad to share with all of you my knowledge and experience on iso in my previous presentations we have already seen videos on japanese management systems like five years tpm and general awareness on iso in this video we will be discussing about one of the important iso standards that is latest iso 9001 2015 standard welcome to iso 9001 awareness training let's see what are the contents in this video we need qms that is iso 9001 what is iso 9001 standards what is the process evaluation on iso 9001 highlights in iso 9001 structure of qms 10 clauses and sub clauses relation between qms and pdca concept seven principles of qms important terminologies in iso 9001 what is swot analysis benefits of iso world famous why we need iso 9001 World famous management system consultant Sir Edwin Deming did a survey among big companies around the world and found out that 85% of the reasons for failure to meet customer expectations are related to deficiencies in systems and process rather than the employees. He suggested that the role of management is to change the process rather than blaming and pestering employees to do better. Then how to change and improve the process? Adopting the proven best practices and guidelines mentioned in iso 9001 is the only solution to streamline the business focusing on customer requirements this is one of the best management system sayings that is quality products and services are winning attitudes now let's see what is iso 9001 standard it is the best best It is the world's best quality management system. Helps organizations, processes, and activities to ensure its products and services satisfy the customers' requirements. Complies with all legal requirements and standards applicable to the products and services. A system which helps to reduce waste, error, and rework. By systemizing the its active activities, the organization becomes efficient and effective. Guides and helps to achieve continual improvements in all its processes, products, and services. enhances customer satisfaction and thus profit to the company define process in a business this is a typical process flow chart of a business consisting of sources of input from previous processes that is either internal or external and interested parties that feed into the process second is the inputs that is it can be raw material information other resources process parameters specifications required for the process third is the main and important activities for the process that is controls checkpoints to monitor and measure performance at starting and end points of the process fourth is the outputs that is results of your processes meeting required specifications for the products and service the last one fifth one is receivers of the output that is subsequent process that is internal or external customers and end users now let's see the history and evolution of iso 9001 first edition of iso 9000 was brought out in 1987 second second one is 1994 third is 2000 fourth is 2008 and now the fifth final one the latest in 2015 purpose of new 2015 standard is to give more emphasis to customer requirements and enhance compatibility with other management system standards like iso 14001 2015 that is environment management system and iso 45001 2018 standard that is occupation health and safety management system now let's see what are the qms highlights of ISO 9001 2015 first point is increased globalization has changed the way we do business there are increased expectation for customers and other interested parties to be successful businesses have to adapt to the changes to meet the growing needs of customers and society hence ISO organization in 2015 had developed a common higher level structure 
that is known as HLS for management system standards which consists of common framework, common text and terminology for the new ISO 9000-2015 standard which will be more compatible with ISO standards like EMS and OHSMS. The new standard has also been structured to ensure the management system is also aligned with the business strategies of the organization which will help to achieve the long term success and for business sustainability. It also adopts six management risk management framework which is explained in the subsequent slides. Emphasis on change management which we, we will also see in the subsequent slides. In this slide we will discuss what is high level structure HLS, uh, ISO 9000 2015 clauses and PDCA cycle. High level structure is a set of 10 clauses that all ISO's management systems, example QMS, EMS, Occupational Health and Safety Management System are required to be understood well and practiced consistently if a company wants to be ISO certified. This is so that all management system standards of the different disciplines will have compatibility and will have will enable greater integration between the systems if you later want to merge them together in IMS that is integrated management system. In other words, when you are going to combine QMS, EMS and OSHAs, then it will be it is known as integrated management system. It also consists of main terms, similar core, core text basic definitions and relevant management system standards requirements. This is a model of high level structure. It has 10 main clauses which are requirements in uh, 9001, 9001, 2015s, 1 to 10 clauses. Okay. First 1 to 3, first 1 to 3 clauses are introductory and non-auditable clauses. It is for only reference and guidance only. The rest the rest seven clauses that is from class 4 to 10 class 4 to 10 are the mandatory audible clauses which a company has to understand well follow diligently if it wants to be its business to improve win customer satisfying interested parties business sustenance and to be ISO certified company you can also see that these four clauses 4 to 10 are integrated with PDA cycle that is P that is P P stands for plan, D, D stands for do, C stands for check and A stands for act. Clause 4 to 10 is context of clause, clause 4 to 7 that is context of organization, leadership, planning and support. Come under plan in PDCA cycle. Clause 8. Clause 8 operation comes under do does a d okay clause 9 clause 9 performance evaluation comes under check and finally clause 10 improvement comes under act structure of iso 9001 pdca and clauses explain in detail let's see the main clauses from class 4 to class 10 and how they are grouped under PDCA cycle. Under plan class 4, plan class 4, context of the organization. Sub class 4.1, understanding the organization and its context, meaning first identify the external and internal issues that affect the long term goals of your organization. Next. Next 4.2 is understanding the needs and expectation of interested parties meaning that you need to understand what are the expectations of the suppliers customers employees shareholders legal authorities neighborhood on whom you depend for your business monitor them clo closely review periodically and address them 4.3 is determining the scope of qms determine the boundaries and applicability of qms to the external and internal issues Interest of parties requirements, different processes, products and services of the company. 4.4 Quality management system and its process, meaning 
determining the inputs and outputs in all the processes, measure, monitor for effective operation and control of the process, address risk and identify opportunities for improvement too. Next main clause is leadership. This is leadership. Subclass 5.1 deals with leadership and commitment. That is, top management takes responsibility and accountability for the effectiveness of QMS implementation. 5.2 How to formulate the QMS policy? Establish company's quality policy, ensuring integration of QMS requirements into the organic business process. 5.3 Organization is defined uh, is defined organized uh, roles, responsibility, and authorities for all the employees in the organization. Ensure they are fully understood by them. Next main clause that is planning focuses on planning. Six point one identify risk and opportunities in all the processes and departments in the organization and take necessary action to rectify the risk and focus on opportunities for improvements. Evaluate for the effectiveness of the current actions taken. Document all the risk and opportunity the risk register for follow up, etc. Six point two deals with formulating the quality objectives of the organ, which should be smart objectives. Smart means specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound objectives. That is, uh, every department should have their own process parameters and quality targets for achieving the company's quality objectives. Prepare action plan to achieve the department targets and company's quality objectives. 6.3 deals with the changes made in the process, products, services, etc. and the purpose of the change and its potential consequences or adverse impacts on environment, pollution, legal requirements, health and safety of man and machine are to be assessed and controlled. If these changes are approved, then management has to provide necessary resources. Next main clause 7, sub clause 7.1 deals with resource that is ensure man, machine, material, measurement, infrastructure, conducive environment are provided for employees for doing business and for implementing QMS in the organization with ease. 7.2 is about assessing and improving the competence of the working crew. Have training plan, evaluate training, check effectiveness of the planning, have the right man for the right job, have proper documents of the training. Awareness. 7.3 uh, focus on awareness. awareness on quality policy, quality objectives, department process targets, benefits of QMS, impacts on not addressing non-conformities like customer complaints early and QMS requirement are not fully understood. 7.4 about communication. Management should spell out what to be communicated when, with whom, and how to communicate to the interested parties, etc. Prepare a register for communication. 7.5 is about documenting information, that is, ISO documents are to be prepared. What are relevant documents, records to be maintained for QMS with proper identification and for easy retrieval and for external audit purpose also. Next, come we come to do. And the main clause operation 8 is operation. Subclause 8.1 operation con planning and control. Prepare operation planning and control for all the processes, products, and services, including outsourced processes. 8.2 8.2 requirements for products and services that is, customers' requirements, applicable legal, statutory regulations required for products and services, addressing feedback and handling complaints. 8.3 8.3 deals with necessary with necessary controls for designing and developing new products, improving processes, existing products and services. 8.4 con talks about control of external outsourced processes, products and services, whether they also conform to specified requirements laid down by the management, evaluate and control these activities too. 8.5 this requirement needed for production and service provision, uh, provision processes to run smoothly. 
8.6 Release of products and services to be done after ensuring the requirements have been met before shipment. 8.4 8.7 is about how to control and take corrective steps for the non-conforming products. Eliminate the root cause for the non-conforming to avoid recurrence. Under check clause 9 performance evaluation sub clause 9.1 which talks about how and what to be monitored measured analyzed for evaluating example the key process parameters product specification customer satisfaction survey etc for improvement 9.2 is about is about how to conduct ISO internal audits at planned intervals select and train ISO internal auditors audit findings with relevant clauses to be addressed early 9.3 is about conducting management review meetings as per MR agenda for discussing problems like long pending issues, legal compliance, customer satisfaction survey, resource required, etc. and to assess the effectiveness of QMS in the organization. Under Act, under Act PDCA, Clause 10, that is improvement, there is a last clause. Subclause 10.1, General. How to improve continually the processes, products and services and prevent non-conformers. 10.2 Non-conformity How to take corrective actions on non-conformities in the processes, products and customer complaint, issues in ISO internal audits and management review meetings etc. Do a root cause analysis for non-conformities and take corrective action to eliminate the root causes. 10.3 is the last sub clause is about taking proactive steps to continually improve that is by innovation breakthrough changes in the process product services and customer satisfaction this slide shows in a nutshell how pdca cycle matches with iso main clauses 4 to 10 remember that this is a cycle once you are finished you start back at the beginning that is how ISO 9000 drives continual improvement in all the process and customer satisfaction. Let's see what are the general requirements of QMS in a nutshell. The organization shall, shall identify the processes needed for the quality management system and the application throughout the organization. Determine the sequence and interaction of these processes. Determine criteria and methods needed to ensure that both operations and controls are in place and effective. Ensure availability of resources and information necessary to support the process operation. Monitor, measure, analyze these processes. Implement corrective action necessary to achieve planned results for continual improvements. This is another model of ISO 9001. After establishing ISO 9000 standards in the organization, we first get the required inputs from the customers for products and services. Process of products and services are monitored, measured, analyzed for non-conformities and corrected. Output 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 of the process is that is products are then delivered to customer with the required specification and customer such feedbacks are received. Based on the feedback from the process and customer management provides necessary resources for improving QS requirements effectively. Non-conformities in the process, products and services are addressed at the earliest for continual improvements. Now let's see what are these seven main principles of QMS. The first principle is that organization should be customer focused. Next is committed leadership. Next is leadership. If effective engagement of people, proper 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 process approach, aim for continual improvement, evidence based decision making for controlling non-conformities, other stakeholders, neighborhood for sustaining the business. Now, now see what is the first principle is customer focus organ. It means that organization depend on customers and therefore need to understand current future needs and meet or exceed requirements and expectations communicating these meets and expectations throughout the organization measuring customer satisfaction by survey and analysis acting on the results of the survey for continual improvement 
second principle is leadership by management main point is committed to by top management and all hods first management formula is quality policy second sets uh, smart objectives and targets for all department achieve the objectives train people and implement st- strategies for achieving objectives and targets this also ensures a conducive environment in which uh, people are involved and objectives are achieved with ease provides people with required resources and freedom to act with responsibility and accountability third principle is engagement of people people are the essence of the organ full involvement and realization of true potential will maximize the benefits of the uh, organization and so the people accept ownership and responsibility improve competence and knowledge of the employees the experience is an asset which should be effectively used elicit improvement suggestions from employees and so employees derive satisfaction from their work fourth principle is process approach process approach is that you have to define process needed to achieve the results of given for provide necessary resources etc establish criteria with controls for measuring the process and product set specifications for process inputs and outputs monitor measure analyze inputs outputs of the process take necessary corrective to eliminate the root causes for the non companies in the processes and products fifth principle is continual improvement continual improvement is ongoing improvement of processes products and services through through step by step incremental improvements by periodic assessment against established criteria reduce the waste cost and optimize outputs sixth principle is evidence based decision making first measure collect data and relevant information they analyze data and information do brainstorming with con- people concerned use statistical techniques for guidance based on results of the analysis make decisions and take nares necessary corrective action immediately to eliminate the root cause of the problem and show the problems do not recur seventh principle is relation management create partnership with common goals identify and select reliable key suppliers create clear and open communication initiate joint development and improvement of processes and products establish joint understanding of customer needs now let's see some of the important key words used in the latest iso 9001 2004 stand first context of the organization organization first to consider a wide range of potential factors which can impact on the business and quality management impacting factors or issues can be internal or of external nature internal factors may be related to management values work culture employees knowledge skill and performance of the organization external factors can arise from legal regulatory technological competitive market social and economic environments whether international national regional or local and the uh, neighborhood Organizations shall monitor and review information about these internal external issues and take corrective steps to address them at the earliest. Another important terminology is interested parties. A company can no longer take for granted its relation with stakeholders like customers, investors, suppliers, business partners, legal authorities, employees, neighborhood, etc. The best the better the relation with the stakeholders the more likely they will want to work for the company buy its products want to be its business partner or supplier invest in the company lend it money have it as part of the community etc comply with all relevant legal and other requirement stakeholders can grant a company a social license to operate or they can take it away what is risk assessment and risk based thinking there are risk in all system processes and functions in an organization risk based thinking ensures that these risks are identified and controlled throughout the process that is from design stage to products end of life that is from cradle to grave risk based thinking as basis for the management system is embedded throughout the system the goal is to become proactive instead of reactive risk based thinking makes preventive action built in and a part of strategic and operational planning when you are thinking one step ahead you can mitigate risk and convert them into opportunities because of these safeguards future problems can be timely addressed there are also positive risks that can that add value to the business which should be also be identified 
With the risk-based thinking, organizations can determine what must be measured, monitored, reviewed, and evaluated for achieving the goals, objectives, and requirements of QMS. Risk-based thinking throughout the standard help in addressing all the risks identified in the process, encourage continual improvements, and increases the effectiveness of QMS. Risk both negative and positive throughout the organization have to be identified, documented in a separate risk register for follow up and for preparing action plan for addressing them. Let's see what are the benefits of risk based thinking. Risk based thinking helps to identify opportunities for improvement, establish a proactive culture of improvement, assist with statutory and legal regulatory compliances, assures consistency of processes, quality of products, and good services, improves morale of the employees, customer confidence, and satisfaction. How to identify risk using SWOT analysis? SWOT analysis is a useful technique for understanding your strengths and weakness and for identifying the both the opportunities open to you and the threats you face. Analyze and prioritize the risk, weakness and threats and the opportunity in your organization. What is acceptable and not acceptable? Devise action plan to address the risk as follows. How can I avoid or eliminate the risk? How can I mitigate the risk? How can I control the risk? Do root cause analysis and implement correct action plan to eliminate the root causes. Check for the effectiveness of the correct actions taken. This is a sample of SWOT analysis of a power plant, boiler house in an industry. That is what SWOT means: strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Okay. The strengths mentioned are in the are the strength portion or in the positive points which are to be monitored and ensure they are maintained. The opportunities. Opportunities are potential positive points which are also to be identified and necessary action plan to be prepared for implementing them at the earliest for enjoying the benefits. The weaknesses. Weaknesses and threats are negative points which are to be captured in the risk register. Prioritize the negative point and take necessary corrective action for addressing them at the earliest. Necessary resources have to be provided by the management for the redressal. What is change management or control of changes? Any change in the procurement of raw materials, new products developed, new equipment added, changes of, or modification made in the process, new processed chemicals added are to be reviewed and analyzed whether these changes are having any impact on the quality of products, customer requirements, legal and other requirements, environmental health and safety of employees and neighborhood. These changes are to be documented in the change management format and reviewed. Both positive and negative points in the proposed changes are to be identified by the department's HODs as submitted to top management's review and approval for implementing the change. Then only management to provide necessary resources for implementing the changes. Relevant change activities impact positive or negative are to be captured in the environmental aspect impact register and also in the HERA that is hazard innovation and risk assessment register also. Now let's see what are the benefits of implementing QMS in the organization. Improve system and process efficiency. The ability to consensually provide products and services that meet customers and uh, applicable statutory requirements. A strategic tool that reduces cost by minimizing waste, errors and customer complaints. Suppliers motivated to conform. Facilitating opportunity to handle customer satisfaction. Helps to access new markets and facilitate free and fair global trade. Address risk and helps in identifying opportunity for improvement associated with its organization contacts and objectives. Companies become more competitive, greater employees engagement, develops a continual improvement culture, improves cor corporate quality image. We have come to the concluding part of this video. My next video will be on ISO 14000-2015 that is Environment Management System and ISO 45001-2018 standard. Occupational Health Safety Management System. Don't, don't miss them. I end this video with the management saying that journey towards excellence is never ending. Thank you for all your patient hearing. If you like to review my previous videos on Japanese 5 years concepts and uh, TPM, please search Learning with Sivaram on YouTube and click the icon Plant in Folded Hands and select video so that you can view my videos in sequence. If you like these videos, please press the like button and click the subscribe and bell icon and share among your friends and others who will also be better. 
once again thank you all have a nice day